Good morning. Let's go to Vancouver. Good morning. It is 6 a.m. and I'm headed to the Tampa airport. If you didn't see my last video, I did get my transfer to Tampa. Finally, it's actually my last month in DC right now, but I picked this up out of base. So today I am flying from Tampa to Denver, Denver to Vancouver. I am the first class galley. And fun fact, up until like last week or maybe two weeks ago, I did not like that position. I didn't like to fly it, but I've had a change of heart and I actually bid it for next month but I got a purser line, or lead flight attendant line, whatever you want to call it. Good morning. I had to turn the light off because we're driving now. John's driving me to work. Okay. Well, I just dropped John off at the terminal. We switched seats, he was driving. But it is 6.33, he has to be at the gate at 6.59. I don't have to be there until 7.18. I'm gonna go park the car. Oh, uh, shoot, I gotta go this way. I've been to the Tampa airport 87,452 times, and I still get lost coming out of here. They're doing a lot of construction, so like half the lanes are closed. And then I gotta try to figure out how the heck to get around it. These parking spots are so small. It's hard to get your car like within the lines. And then of course, there's like a wall in the corner. I'm like so close to that wall, yikes. Okay. Yes, I hear you, I hear you. It's so nice being Tampa based because you can literally just bring a little turn bag and I don't have to lug everything around. I think I'm gonna miss the train. No, I'm not about to run. Just got into the airport, I'm gonna head over to my gate. First flight, I don't remember if I told you earlier, but we are going to Denver on the Airbus, so I'll actually be working in the back of the plane, and then from Denver to Vancouver, I'll be working in the first class galley. It's gonna be about like three hours and some change to Denver, and then I wanna say like right around three hours to Vancouver. So a little bit of a long day, I get to Vancouver, I think like right after 5 p.m. Eastern time. hours later we just got to Denver and I stopped and got a little treat which I definitely do not need but I've really been wanting to come here so I decided since we have a little less than an hour so I have to be at my next gate to Vancouver I'm gonna treat myself today so I got a voodoo donut it's actually humongous so I'm only gonna have half it's very sweet but it's good as I was sitting here I just saw this TikTok. Hurricane season is here. But if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure they said a hurricane is heading for LA right now, which is kind of crazy. I feel like that's not every day you hear a hurricane headed towards California. Wild. It's 10.30 now, I have to be at my gate at 11.10, so I have like 40 minutes still. We are getting two new crew members for this flight, so I wanna go introduce myself to them and get my galley set up. Just got to our hotel here in Vancouver. I love this hotel, one of my favorites. Huge bathroom, literally bigger than my bathroom in my house. Walk-in shower, tub, toilet room. You can come around this way, and then nice little room. I cannot complain. I have a great view of the Air Canada gates. I have to change out of this uniform. I've been in it for like the last 14 hours, and then we'll chat. Finally, in Vancouver. It's a little later than we were supposed to get here. I think we were supposed to get in at like, I don't know, 1.30, 1 o'clock, somewhere around there. But we actually had to change planes in Denver because of a mechanical issue. So got a new plane and then flew out to Vancouver. Both of my flights today were like right around the three hour mark, so it was a little bit of a longer day. It's almost 7 p.m. on the East Coast and I checked in at 7 a.m. So almost 12 hours, but honestly, it was really easy. Everything was fine. Everyone was super nice. I feel like the Canadian stereotype is that all Canadians are super nice, and I feel like that's true, especially on the plane. So I don't mind doing these trips at all. Tampa Base has a lot of Vancouver trips, so I'm hoping they keep them for next month because I'll definitely bid for them. I thought I was going to be on reserve in Tampa because it was so super senior, but now they've been letting so many people in each month that John's in Tampa right now and he has a line. I'm crossing my fingers that we keep 
keep our line because I'll definitely bid for this. But I mean, if not, I'll go back on reserve and all will be well. It's kind of a bummer that our layover is short now in Vancouver. Our layover is only like 14 and a half hours. So we're at the short stay hotel by the airport. We're not like downtown or anything. I would love to get a long layover here and go out and explore. Like I said, it's already like 4 p.m. here. By the time I get out to the train, take the train to the city, it's gonna be probably after five, maybe even close to six o'clock. We do have to be downstairs for pickup at 6.30. 30, so I don't really want to be out that late and I kind of want to be in bed early tonight just because I had to get up so early this morning for work But I was thinking it's early still. It's four o'clock, but I'm starving All I had today was that donut and I mean it's not the healthiest option But I was thinking we could go get some poutine from downstairs I would ideally like to wait a little bit, but it's like seven o'clock at home I'm like ready for dinner. So I think we're gonna go do that. I'm gonna throw on some clothes It's actually pretty chilly here. When we were deplaning, they had the catering door open and the wind was coming in and I was like, ah, I have not been this cold in so long. It's been miserably hot in Florida. It was freezing here. So I'm so glad I brought a sweatshirt. <laughs> so this is my layover outfit. I have this like super baggy sweater and then I feel like these shorts are like a little short, but you know, we're not going anywhere fancy. And then flip-flops, like not the cutest look I've ever had, but it's my comfy layover outfit. Okay, got the poutine. Oh, it looks so good. I'm so excited to eat this. This is very much a Canadian thing. I want to say that it started in Quebec, but I could be wrong. So if you're Canadian, please don't come for me. Let's take our first bite together. It's really good, but I went to this place in, not Quebec, Calgary, and their poutine was really good. But this is a close second. If you're ever in Canada, you have to try this. Hello. I've just been sitting in bed and I'm starting to fall asleep, but I cannot go to bed this early because I will be up all night. It is only 6.13, so I need to stay up for at least like three more hours. So I thought I'm gonna go downstairs. There's like a little Canada gift shop. Maybe we could take a look in there and see what they have. I don't know that I have a magnet from Canada and I've been collecting magnets over the past two years. So I'm thinking, hmm, I guess I could get a magnet there. I just need something to get me out of the room because I'm sitting here like this, like, like falling asleep, so I need to get up. I should go to the gym, is what I really should do. But you know, this is just my relaxing layover. I don't wanna do anything crazy on this layover. I just wanna hang out, enjoy myself, and relax. All right, well, we missed the opportunity, but they had some cute little things in there. Um, I'm gonna look, there is some more stores here, so maybe we'll check and see what we can find. All right, well, here's a little store that's open. Let's go in here. They don't really have the sweatshirt that I was looking for that they had at the other store, so I don't I don't think I'm gonna get any clothing here, but maybe let's see if we can find a magnet somewhere. This little Air Canada plane is so cute, and Air Canada is like our sister airline. This would be cute on our knickknack shelf, but it's just a little bit too big. I need something a little smaller. Also, I feel like I showed it once, but I don't really remember. I'll insert a little clip of our knickknack shelf so you can see what I'm talking about. This is our knickknack shelf. We have Alaska, Rome, India, Ireland, Japan, Hong Kong, Germany, Scotland, Taylor Swift Air Store, London. Tel Aviv, Greece, Brazil, Paris, Spain. We've got a lot of different countries on here. So I'm trying to find something that can fit on there comfortably and not like overshadow everything else and be like a hundred times the size. So we need to find something small. This is kind of cute, a little Canada snow globe. Is it broken though? I'm very confused. Isn't there supposed to be water in it? I don't know, maybe I'm losing my mind. Shot glasses are like the perfect size, but I also just don't want to have a shot glass in my room. I'm not like a 21 year old frat boy anymore. So I don't think I'm gonna do a shot glass. I really should get one of these for my mom. I think should really like this. It's a little expensive. They're four for 40. I mean, I guess $10. That's not too bad, but compared to normal maple syrup, I don't know. What do you guys think? Is this worth $10? I feel like you're paying $10 for the bottle because it's cute. All right, well, I spent 20 minutes looking at magnets. Back from the store, I think I'm gonna take a shower. I'm debating do I wanna shower right now or just wait till morning because either way, I'm gonna shower in the morning. So I think I might just save water and just take one shower in the morning. Look how nice this shower is. It's so big. If I was smart, I would have relaxed in here earlier. I feel like I really needed this layover today because I've been on the go so much recently between commuting and life and commuting has really sucked the life out of me like the past couple months. Real talk, if you would have asked me six months ago, I would have told you, oh, commuting is not that bad. I recommend it if you want to be based somewhere but live somewhere else. You can totally do it. But now, 
things have changed and I don't really feel the same way. I mean, commuting is definitely possible. Like flight attendants always say, commuting is a second full-time job and it really is. And especially during peak summertime when travel is at its high, it is so hard to commute. It is so stressful. And then on top of commuting, you have delays and cancellations and reroutes and just so much other stuff going on on top of the commute that it makes it just really hard mentally and physically. The past couple weeks, I've been getting up at like 5, 5.30 in the morning to do my commute up to DC and then I get to DC around like 10 or 11 and then I sit around all day and then I start my trip at like 5 or 6 p.m. and I'm not done until after midnight so it's been like 19 hour days like the past like month or so and that's totally my fault and my decision. My work days aren't 19 hours, but because I chose to commute, it makes my day super long. So I'm really excited. I just have one more month left of commuting and then I will be officially Tampa based. I'm so happy. I'm working this trip out of Tampa right now and it just reminds me how much better life is when you live in base. I'm like sitting on the ground right now because I forgot my tripod and this is like the only place I could set up a camera. I don't even know how I got on that tangent, but yeah, life has been like a lot recently, but I'm excited for the new change and it feels good to be vlogging. Like so many people are like, Hunter, I really miss your vlogs. And it's not that I don't want to vlog. It's just what I was saying earlier, by the time I start my trip, I'm already exhausted. So it makes it hard and I guess you could call me lazy and like, I. I could do it but I've just been like focusing on me recently if that makes sense I'm really feeling good about this like it was so easy to pick up the camera today like when I'm Tampa based I can just pick up my camera and go of course flight attendant vlogs will be coming back I know this one is kind of boring like not really much happened I would have loved if I was able to go out in Vancouver today but just wasn't in the cards today and that's okay I was definitely a slam clicker today but we had a short layover so it's all good flight attendant vlogs are coming back lots of layovers Tampa has some really good layovers right now. We have Vancouver, Honduras, we had Hawaii for a minute. We have a bunch of cool layovers in Tampa right now, so I'm super, super excited. All right, I think it is time for me to put the camera down and get ready for bed because I have to be up at 5.30 in the morning. So I'm gonna say goodnight and I will see you guys at 5.30. Good morning, 5.43. Let's get this day started. Good morning, we have two legs today. We just do the reversal of what we did yesterday. So we do Vancouver, Denver. We have a three hour sit in Denver and then we do Denver, Tampa. It's crazy because John is actually working Denver, Tampa today, but he's working the one that's like an hour after mine. So I'm just gonna wait for him when we get back for him to land. It is currently 6.02. I have to be downstairs at 6.30. So I should probably start getting dressed. Once I start, I'm actually like really fast to finish getting ready. I have no worries about that. But I am gonna start getting ready. That way I can 100% make sure I'm not late. It's an early morning, but it doesn't feel so bad because I'm on Pacific time. So it's like 9 a.m. for me at home. So it's really not that bad. I'm not a huge fan of morning shows unless they're on the West Coast. It's a little bit gloomy this morning in Vancouver. Iceland Air. Can't see who that is behind them. Delta Connection. United Air Canada. Blair. And then we got nobody over here yet. Just finished getting ready. I'm about to head downstairs now and meet my crew. Long day today, but an easy day. Passport, crew badge, we are good to go. Make sure I have everything, nothing in the bed. If y'all followed me for a while, you know I've forgotten a few things behind over the years. Nothing on the counter, nothing in the shower, and nothing in the closet. Turn the lights off to save some energy. Bye Vancouver. <laughs> Just landed in Denver. It was two hours, 29 minutes from Vancouver to here, so super quick. By the time we were done with service, we were already like getting ready to land. We have a little sit here in Denver now. I think we don't have to be at the gate until 2.40. So we have like two hours. I'm gonna eat my lunch and then probably go up to the crew room and charge my phone a little bit. John is actually flying through Denver in a little bit, so I would like to see if I can run into him real quick. We'll see if we have time. It's gonna be cutting it really, really close. I think he lands at like 2.15 and I have to be at the gate at 2.40, so we'll cross our fingers, we'll see. I mean, if not, I'll see him 
but when we get back to Tampa tonight, I wish we were working the same flight from Denver to Tampa. That would be so convenient and so fun, but he is on the later one. I am getting a new crew member on this flight. Our other crew member got pulled to go to Chicago and then Kansas City, so she will not be coming to Tampa with us. We are switching planes. We've been on the Boeing 737 the last two legs, uh, yesterday and today. Now we are switching to the Airbus, so like the beginning of the trip, instead of me working in the first class galley, I'm gonna be working in the back of the plane in the aisle. Just landed in Tampa, three and a half hours later. I'm going to change out of this uniform and then I have to wait for John to land. He doesn't land for like two more hours, but I just wanna get out of these clothes and get into some comfy clothes and then we'll talk more. The struggle is finding my car. Every time I come in the employee lot, I say, I'll remember where I parked because I try to park in the same area every time. And I always end up walking around aimlessly. Found her. All right, let's get the heck out of here. It is 9.48 right now. Trying not to hit a pole. John lands at 11. I thought like maybe I had time to run home, but I don't think so. So I'm just gonna go over to the cell phone lot and hang out and wait for him for an hour. In complete, honest transparency, am I gonna do anything productive in that hour? Absolutely not. Am I gonna scroll endlessly and aimlessly on TikTok for the hour? Most likely. You got a fast car. Wonderland. Vamos a la playa. You know, I just fell in love with a gangsta and about like the Barbie. Thank you for coming to karaoke with Hunter.